Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I will talk about the export process of Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 models from Death Studio, including their animations and their morphs to Unity. Over a year ago, I published a video called Death to Unity 5 Animations, in which I showed this export process for Genesis 2 models. However, I received some comments that were asking, how can we do this with Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 content? And that's why I created this video now to show you exactly how it's done. First, we need some animations, and you can find those on the Dask 3D store. Please make sure that you're buying the correct animations for the type of character that you have, so that if you have a Genesis 8 female character, you need animations for Genesis 8 female. Also make sure that poses are not really animations, but rather just single frames. So it's best to look for something like a walk cycle or animation construction kits or animate blocks or any blocks. All right, once we have some animations, we can go to Dust Studio. Here I'm using the base female Genesis 8 character as an example. I also have some walking animations here that I used in Animate 2. I have a start, a forward, and a stop animation. And you can see what this is supposed to look like. You can also see that this all uh, these animations say G8F, Genesis 8 female. So this is the kind of animation that we need. All right, let's click somewhere in this empty space here and bake to studio keyframes. You can then switch over to timeline and we see the animation here, 117 frames. All right, we also have a number of morphs over here and we will export some of those. Let's get started exporting to FBX. Let's call it Gen 8, Animations, and we'll call it Morphs, because we will export this character, including its morphs. Select FBX 2014, and leave everything else over here as it is, and we will export figures, animations, and morphs. Here, for the uh, morph export rules, we see that, for example, the youth morph and a whole host of other morphs will simply be exported. Now, I experimented with all of these check marks here, and for example, a low degraded skinning doesn't change anything with our problem. Instead, it is really important that we export morphs with this character. And now we wait for the export to finish. Once the character is exported, we will repeat the process. Again, we go to export, and this time we call the character no morphs. And we will simply uncheck this mark here for morphs, so that we have one character with morphs and one without. Once this is done, we can head over to Unity and wait for the models to import. The first thing we do is we change both of these models to a humanoid rig. You can see that there is a warning here, but we can ignore that for now. Once that is done, we can create one animator controller. Let's open up the model with morphs. Here you can see all the materials, the meshes, and then we have our animation. Now, as you can see, it's all grayed out and we cannot do anything with it right now. However, we can simply duplicate the animation to work with it. Have it selected and then press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now you can see over here we can actually work with this animation. Since this was the character with morphs, we simply call it animation morphs. We repeat the process with the character without morphs. Select the animation, press Ctrl D. we call it no morphs. All right, drag both of our characters into the scene. This is a character without morphs, so let's double check. We go to the Genesis 8 female.shape. We can see there's no blend shapes here. If we look at the other character, you can see there's a long list of blend shapes here. Very good. Now, 
we actually don't need the character without morphs because our goal in the end is to have a character that has both animations and morphs. So let's delete the character without morphs. And let's continue with the other one. We simply take our empty animator controller and drag it into the animator. In the animator, we can now create an empty state. Click on the empty state and we assign an animation. Let's start with the animation with morphs. So this is the animation that was imported with the character with morphs. Let's test the animation. And we can see there's clearly something wrong. The character still looks like it is half in a, an A pose, just a standard pose for animations here. So something clearly went wrong. And this is very similar to the reports I was getting from other people that had trouble importing animations. So if that's the case, it was probably a character who also had morph supplied to it. All right, let's change the animation to the one from the other character that we're not really using anymore. And as you can see, the character that didn't have any morph supplied imported correctly with the animation intact. And I can tell you that the animations are completely different. There's just no way to use the other animation and clean it up. All of the keyframes are different and there's just no saving it. So really, you have to import the same character twice, once with morph supplied and once without. And the character without morphs actually has the correct animation. You can extract the animation, delete the character, and then work with the character with morphs and use the other character's animations. It sounds a bit tricky, but in the end, it is just one extra step you have to do. Now, let's have a look at the morphs, which are the blend shapes here under Genesis 8 female. Let's zoom a little bit in. Let's use the morph for closing eyes. And as you can see, this works quite well. Now, something's off with the eyelashes, so you have to apply the morph twice. Once with the eyelashes, since they are separate here, and once with the female character. Now this works well. However, if we use a morph, for example, the youth morph here is very complex and it changes the whole body. Let's see what happens. You can see the character gets distorted. Now, we also have all these other morphs here, and other blend shapes, which are part of the animation and, and is basically what is being animated through the animation. Now, you can change these characters as you want. It doesn't matter. I have not found a way to get this to work. So if you have a complex morph that changes the body and changes uh, the limbs, the size of the limbs, it will simply not work. If anybody has a solution for this, please leave a comment below. Now, what you would have to do with something like a youth morph, you would have to go back into Das Studio, find the morph, for example, youth morph here. You set it to a value that you need. Let's say you need a, a young child. And then you export the character. And instead of exporting the morph as export, you simply bake it so that the character will remain young and you just won't have the opportunity to change the value of this youth morph in Unity. It will simply just be at this value that you've set here. And that is the compromise here. If you have any questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you next time.